get on here and share with you some of the principles and some of the daily habits that self-made billionaires have. Maybe this can help you because sometimes you got to look at what you're doing. You may not be thinking you're on the right track and maybe you don't even want to be a billionaire, but maybe you. want to make six figures or you want to make a million but you can take something from these lessons so as you come on say hello so i could say hello back to you i'm going to go ahead and share this with a couple people on here so while you're here say hello let me know where you are tuning in from and if you're catching this during the a live or replay guys my name is kathy mcreynolds uh you're fun money and skill coach but mainly what i do is i help help you start your course or consultant business and i thought this what i was reading today was really really good so i wanted to make sure that i came on here and share this with you so let's um Go ahead and get it shared to a couple places. And guys, if you like this title and you know that other people could benefit from it, make sure you go ahead and share it yourself. So I'm going to pull, let me go ahead and pull the article up. up and I'm going to share with you some of the things that I was reading. And I, now as I was reading it, it's like, you know, I, it, when I look back, of my 25 years of being in business, I never realized how close I was because I didn't have someone around me to teach me and share. And the internet wasn't there like it is today. So that you had, like today, you have no excuse for not winning, not creating success. The only reason you won't is because you're not following some of these principles that I'm talking to you about. But even though back in the day, we read a lot, we did a lot, you gotta be surrounded by the right people. And that's what I love about the internet. That's what I love about being connected around the world. We're in the knowledge generation where anything you desire and you want to have, and you want to know about, you can find it. But there are certain things that you have to do, and that's why I thought I would share this with you of how self-made billionaires, and that's with the B, how they prioritize their day and their focus. And um, there is about two thousand billionaires in the world, and they are the best at time management i had someone today was like ah so i was thinking that we could meet him in person and you know what every now and then i don't mind a meet in person type of, of meeting but it takes so much time and time is something that you can never get back in one once you learn how to utilize your time the right way, you can do so much more. So let's jump into Miss Cheryl Sandberg, and she is a female billionaire. And she stated in her book that she made made sure to leave work at five thirty every single day because her ch children were was her priority. So that meant that she needed to get done what she needed to get done during the hours that she had available. So her time was precious to her. So what is it in your life? Do you have kids? Do you have, you know, your spouse, your family, somebody you want to spend more time with and maybe you, you haven't been able to because of trying to pursue your business or giving it all you got you see Cheryl she did it 
and she's a billionaire and she stopped work at 5 30 every day here's another one richard branson has over 400 companies to run but he still finds time to kite surf because he puts his fitness as his priority see every like as i go down through this list you're going to find that each each of them have different things that they do do so it's a matter of finding people who are similar to you in personality similar to you in like and then just adopt what they have it talked about President Bush, how he had a million things to do from foreign leaders' calls to the CIA briefings, and yet he was able to still read 95 books in a year. 95 books in a year. How do you put that on, on your schedule? It's a priority. He had a priority to get it done. Um, Doug Conant, CEO of Campbell Soup, he, he sent 20 handwritten notes every single day while running a Fortune 500 company. So guys, here are some of the th things. Let me give you some of the tips that this article talked about. Number one, do the most, most important task at the start of the day. What is it that you can do? Like, what, what is your most productive thing that will bring the most amount of money into you? Whatever that is, get it done at the start of your day. So if you're creating an online course and you're just beginning, one of the things that you got you, you want to do is reach out to people who may, may be interested in in your course so what's your goal how many people do you need to talk to a day yes you're going to do some advertising but that's where a lot of people you know they get kind of confused and lost in the, in the beginning of creating a course or consulting in business because they don't get started the right way and so one of those important tasks is what is the most important thing that you must do first thing in the morning uh, if you want to know more and and actually i'll walk you through this through our our demo just go to ecourseu ecourseu.com and make make sure you you watch that uh, video and then schedule a call with me and we can go over some of the most important things that you must do. Number two, <laughs> as I'm spinning here, <laughs> number two, don't multitask. You, like, maybe in the last couple of years, I learned that this is what wasn't a good thing to do uh, because. Why is that? It takes your focus away. If you're multitasking, you're not giving it 100%. And in order to give something 100%, you have to be all in on just that one thing. So stop multitasking and it will change your life. Like seriously, stop multitasking. Especially you, you women, stop multitasking. I know we think that we're supposed to, but it literally decreases when you're multitasking, it decreases your productivity by 40%. Here's another one you can do. They have theme days, theme days. The youngest billionaire in history of Facebook um, and Asana, Dustin Moskozo, I'm probably messing up that name he has a theme day and that means he does certain things on certain days so as an example you can have you can have one day where you're doing marketing you can have one day when you're re 
reaching out to people. You can have, have one day when you write all of your emails. You can have one day. But, you know, just focus it out just to have one day. So all day long, you're in the zone. Think about it this way. If you're playing, you know, basketball, I always think of Michael Jordan. When Michael Jordan decided, decided to leave basketball and go uh, play baseball and do other things. And it wasn't working well from him. It took away his game and how good he was at what he was doing. It's like you, if you focus on one thing, and I'm telling you, I, you can tell me, you know, I have been guilty of, of doing so much many different businesses on time and yes there will be a time when you you can multitask on that but you got to sell out on one thing and if you go all in on that one thing and all of your effort is on that one thing you guys see that you know I used to do travel Tuesday I love to travel and my goal one day is to open up my own travel company where we can help people with affordable travel. But before I get to that, I, I know that the number one thing I love doing is helping people start businesses. And that's why I decided to do it with the course and consulting consultant business because I in like the knowledge industry if you look at what Forbes said by the year 2025 this will be a trillion dollar industry and it's your chance to let this last forever like knowledge never goes away and people say well what if it gets old well it's just like a textbook you get a new edition. It's just like a song, a record. You put out a new edition of it each year as you get better and it gets better. But if you're one step ahead of someone, you can make that happen. If you want to know more about that, make sure you go to eCourseU.com so you can get the information on this. Here's another one. Discipline matters more than intelligence. Let me repeat that again. Discipline matters more than intelligence. This is so big. Um, the billionaire Andrew Mason of Groupon said he's met a lot of people who are smarter but less successful than him because they they lack discipline to do what they say they will do or need to do. Let me repeat that. Like, you got to do what you need. Discipline is everything. I remember I was in a company. It was 100,000 people in that company. And I was the number one recruiter. And, and, and in our region, I was the number one in sales. It wasn't because guys that I was better or knew more I probably knew less but guess what I outworked everybody that's all you got to do is you got to show up and out work everyone as long as you every single day show up and outwork people you will win long term number five recharge and refresh midday to keep up your mental fitness and this is just something of a young billionaire from Africa his name is Mohammed D D Diwaji and one of the things that he does he wakes up really early so about midday he's already put in seven to eight hours and he's filling a little drink so around his lunch hour to refresh that's when he'll get his work in. And I love that because that's when I like to do my workout. I wake up 
pretty early as well. And I like about like 12 or one o'clock to hit the gym. I went today to, um, to swim. I went and swam and got in the jacuzzi and you come back and you're like so super fresh. And so that's one of the things that you can add into your day. Um, here's a, another one. Uh, devote at least 50% of your time to building a great product. Avoid ego gratifying activities. So that that's important. Mark Pence is the billionaire, the founder of Zagni, a video game, and, and uh, that social uh, that that's on social network and Facebook. And he says, if you want to build great products or or course, whatever the case is. You should spend at least 50% of your work time and time building great products. And he said, don't accept these speaking engagements, these, these um, uh, you know, these, these collaborations and all of that stuff just to feed your ego. And when you're feeding your ego, you're not, you're not changing people's lives. And when you're not changing people's lives, you're not making money. Uh, here's another one. Write notes down on paper. Oh my God, that is so important. I keep a notebook right, right beside me at all times. I mean, like I got, like seriously, I don't know how many notebooks I got, but I'm always writing in it. I'm always writing down ideas. And then if I come across something that I want to do a live on or a real, a I want to train on I'll text it to myself or I'll put it inside the notes on my phone so there's so many ways that you can take the information your notes become money if you let them this is how you teach you can teach from what you know guys and you can also teach from your knowledge that's one of the things I love about the course industry and a lot of billionaires were uh, have gotten to that way by helping people with the knowledge they have. So if you want to know more about, about that and how that business works, make sure you go to ecourseu.com. The next one is be willing to say no and give yourself time. Like no, I, like I don't, probably maybe 10, 15 years ago, I read this book that talked about the power Hour of no, of being okay with saying no. And I'm telling you, that was life changing. You can say no to a person without feeling guilty or without feeling like you should have said yes and let it be okay. It is life changing. So learn to say no. Learn to say no and put something that's income producing and impact to get you to your goals on your calendar. Uh, and the uh, last one that I'm going to share with you guys, he talked about reducing meetings. Stop having meaningly meetings. Stop having meetings just to have a meeting to find out. Like, what you can do a quick Zoom or phone consultation just to find out if somebody is interested interested or not in your business and if they're not willing to hop on a zoom call with you or to meet with you for a few minutes on the phone then what's the meeting gonna do like yeah I you know I get it you can be in front of them and you build that relationship quicker again yes you do but in today's day and age with your ability to get around the world and be able to talk to anyone from anywhere around the world and go global, that will, will put you everywhere instead of just locally. And you can't create billions just being locally. You, create, you, you can't create 
make millions just being locally. You need to be around the world.